Hey guys, so uh, if you haven't seen it yet, you should probably watch my uh, modular cannon video first. Um, uh, that's what this is used for. Uh, basically what we have here is a, a configurable delay circuit. So I'll show you the inputs first. Um, basically the, the four delay bits, so from 0 to 15, uh, fire button, and here are your outputs. So. Uh, Trigger for the propellant, then trigger for the, for the projectile. So let's say I put on no delay, which is, it won't be no delay because the system has a certain delay time, but see there, they're, they're pretty close together. Um, turn on one. So propellant launches, and then after some time, the uh, projectiles turn on. And right now it's at 9, so it'll take a little longer. And then they go. So, uh, from my testing, you can really only use, uh, with my cannons, I use usually 1 to 6. Um, if you use 0, sometimes it uh, blows up. And if you use 7, it won't launch it in time, so it'll blow up. Um, so I'll show you kind of how it works. I uh, have a clock over here. This clock has to face uh, north-south for it to work. It uses a kind of a glitch uh, with redstone. Um, it's the only way to make a, a four clock. Um, it originally used a five, but I like the four better because you, you can't use all the delays anyways. So the faster the clock, the more you can actually use. Um, so this is the four clock. It's uh, going in over here. It's ended. Um, and with the button, basically you hit the button to fire, it comes through, here's an RS NOR latch which keeps it uh, on and that lets the uh, clock go through and that starts the timer. So the timer starts um, and then it basically goes through a bunch of uh, uh, toggle flip-flops, key flip-flops, um, one after the other uh, and what that does is basically it, it doubles the clock each one it goes through. So you'll have the original clock coming out, and then there's two times the clock, four times, eight times. Um, one thing I added to the basic design, you'll see this is, this is new. Um, this is the reset. Basically I figured out, I just did a little testing, uh, sticking torches in different places, um, that if you put a current down here, um, it, uh, it resets back to the start because if you use this once <clears throat> and your toggles are in different positions then the next time you fire it's not going to be right so basically you have to reset it after every time you use it so uh, hopefully you can just see from from this I'll probably upload a schematic anyways so you can take a look but this is how you add a reset to your T flip flop um, you put that high and it resets it uh, so basically the four, all the outputs come out here, um, different amounts of delay for each just so they're perfectly synchronized, that took some time to do. Uh, these little bridges are for the resets going down. So yeah, so you get your four coming out, your, your clock keeps counting up, so at this point it's a four, a four bit clock. Um, and what happens here is you have your, your four selectors. Um, so right now these, so let's say you put all these up, this will be uh, maximum delay, right? Yeah, so that's maximum delay. So you're basically saying use all four of the, the clock signals. Okay, let me turn off that music. Okay, so this means you need all four of these to turn on uh, before it fires off. Um, so you're saying use all four bits of the clock. So what happens here is it comes in uh, and you and it with each of these, or you, sorry, you or it with each of these outputs. And then those all get anded together over here. And gate, and gate. So basically if you decide not to use one of the bits, it'll turn this on, so it'll always be on. So then the and gate will go, even if that that bit's not actually set by the clock. 
So that's how you turn certain bits on and off. Um, so yeah, if you tur actually turned all four of these on, so that's the minimum delay, you'll see it's they're all ended and it's already on. Um, because of this, I actually had to add a little uh, AND gate here so that the projectile trigger won't turn on unless the propellant trigger is already on. Because um, otherwise it would be on right now and blowing up your cannon. So that's what uh, this does right here, a little AND gate here. Uh, so another thing that happens, so here's your output and that'll set the projectile off uh, and it goes back. So as soon as it triggers, it sets, this is the, the reset one. So it comes down here and it resets your RS NOR. So this turns off the button, turns it on and this turns it back off. And what this does is also turns this on which resets all of them. Um, and yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Here's the whole thing. Uh, there's some finished ones. I just kind of used MC Edit to rip them out of the ground and turn them into cobblestone, put some walls on them. So those are kind of the finished products. Uh, right here we also have. I always say that. I always say that's pretty much it, and then realize there's something else. Um, here's the actual selector box. It's fairly simple. The only tricky part is um, getting them all right beside each other. So you kind of drop some of them. Some of them just come out here, and the ones beside them, you drop them down, just so the the wires don't touch. That's how you get them all beside each other. Uh, and then I just put it out the back. So there's your five inputs, and connect it all together. And there's a there's a finished one of that up there too. So I'll I'll upload some schematics when I get a chance, so you guys can. Uh, use MC Edit and kind of throw these into your maps if you want, or just come look at how it works. Uh, but I found it pretty useful so far. I wish I I wish I could get a faster clock so I could actually use the 15. But I actually created a little not a mod, but I'm playing with the source code to make a I made a nuke um, TNT, which is the power of five, and doubled the, the delay on it. So this might actually come in handy for that. But uh, yeah, so that's actually about it. Um, yeah, have fun. Thought I'd give you guys a little bonus. I've been working on uh, a mod. Uh, won't be out for a while, so don't ask, because uh, the, the tools I have right now don't allow me to make it into a mod yet. They just let me play with the code. Um, but I've been making some kind of more powerful TNT. So uh, we'll test it out here. You guys can see how much damage it does. And uh, it may lag, may crash, we'll see what happens. I just broke Minecraft. Um, watch out for the lava. Holy crap. So yeah. That's uh that's what happens. <laughs> oh man, that worked. Uh, you might notice uh, the uh, AK in my my bar right now. I've also been working on uh, oh, another mod. Uh, I can't get the sound working, but so far it's in addition to the bow, so it doesn't overwrite it. It uh, fires twice as fast. It has less uh, arc on the bullets, um, but I just can't get the sounds working. I got the sounds, but. I can't get him to actually play, so I don't know. We'll see if that turns out.
right, see you guys.